One of the biggest complaints that I get from people is that video editing can take so long. So I'm going to show you some tips and tricks to make you a faster editor. Hi everyone, I'm the web guru. I do tutorials on video, audio, and photography. So be sure to uh, subscribe and leave a comment. And so here I've already gathered uh, my media and I'm going to select it all using Command A on Mac, Control A on Windows. Then I'm simply going to drag it into Premiere Pro. Now here it is. This is called the project panel. Right now I'm in list view. So I'm going to switch over to icon view so I can see my media visually. Um, and on my computer, the project panel is really small. So I'll show you one of my favorite keyboard shortcuts. Simply move your mouse over top of the project panel and then hit the accent uh, or the tilde key on your keyboard and you can maximize the panel. So that's very useful. And you can also adjust the size of the icons by using this little zoom slider. Now the next thing that I want to show you is called hover scrub. Very useful. So what you can do is uh, first of all make sure that none of the clips are selected. I just kind of clicked in an empty space here. And you can simply move your mouse over top of the clips from left to right and you're actually able to preview all of your media very, very quickly by simply hover scrubbing. So now I have a good sense of my media. So I'm going to create a storyboard. So I'll show you storyboard editing. So from the little sort icons button down here, just make sure you have selected user order. That is the default. And now we can just move our clips into place and create a storyboard. So for example, I want this clip to be first. So I am going to move it to the beginning. And then I think I want this clip over here to be second. So I'm going to drag it into second place. And then maybe I'll make this one the third clip. And then you can just kind of keep going like that. And you can start dragging and dropping your clips into place until you're happy with your storyboard. And then we're going to add the clips into the timeline. So I'm going to hit the accent key again to minimize the project panel. And then I'm going to reduce the size of the icons. And I'm going to take the first six clips. So I'm going to click and then shift click uh, to select multiple clips. And then I'm simply going to drag them into the timeline. And then there they are. There's my six clips in the order that I selected. Now these clips are going to be a little bit rough because I haven't marked any in or out points. So I put the entire clip in here. So now, so now I need to trim them a little bit. So I am going to double click here in the track header um, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit by dragging this little zoom handle like this. And now I'm going to show you a technique called ripple edits. And so I need to trim these clips. So for example, when I go to the first clip, it's much longer than I need it to be. So I'm going to move to the point in the clip where I would like it to begin. So that's going to be right here. I'm dragging the playhead. You can also simply play through the timeline. And I need to trim the beginning of the clip. So I'm going to use keyboard shortcut Q. And now the beginning of the clip is gone. Then I'll play the clip for about two or three seconds. That's about all I need. And then I need to trim the rest of it. So the end of the clip. So I'm going to hit W on my keyboard to ripple trim the rest of the clip. Now I need to do this multiple times. I have to trim every single one of the clips. And I can trim the beginning of a clip with Q. Then I can trim the end of the clip using W. And I'm going to go through and do the entire timeline, but I'll speed it up in the edit so you can see. So there it is. Just by using Q and W, I went through and I trimmed all of my clips very quickly. So now I have like a decent edit here and I would like to add some music. So I'm going to take the music clip 
and I'm going to drag it into one of the audio tracks and there it is. And so obviously I can see that the music is longer than the video. Um, exactly how long? I'd like to see my entire timeline. So I'm going to use keyboard shortcut backslash to view my entire sequence. And I can see that it's much longer than it needs to be. So uh, there are many ways to trim the music. You can drag the end of it. You can use the razor blade tool, but I'll show you the fastest way. So first of all, I'm going to move my playhead to the end of the video. Then I'm going to select the very end just by clicking the very end of the music clip. Then I'll use keyboard shortcut E to trim it to the playhead. So that's super useful. Now if I hit the backslash again, I can see that the music matches up with the video. Perfect. Now when I listen to the music, uh, it's a little bit too loud. I can see the red lights turning on and it's clipping. So I'm going to increase the track height by double clicking. Now it is possible to decrease the volume of the music by dragging this white line, um, but I prefer to do something called normalize. It's very fast and efficient. I'm going to select the clip right click and go to audio gain or you can use keyboard shortcut G and then I'm going to normalize the max peak to minus six. Now when I click on OK you can even see by looking at the waveforms the music has been adjusted. I'm also going to mute track one by hitting the M button here because it's basically just a bunch of uh, random sounds and now when I play it you can see that the music is peaking at minus six. So this is great. Now the last thing that I'm going to do is to add some transitions. Now the default transition in Premiere Pro is one second long, which uh, is a little bit too long for me. So I'm going to change that by going up to Premiere Pro Preferences. By the way, on Windows, this is Edit Preferences. Then I'm going to go to Timeline. And right here is the video transition default duration. I'm going to change the unit to seconds and then 0.5 for half a second. Then I'm going to select everything inside of the timeline using a command A or control A on Windows and then go up to the sequence menu and right here apply default transitions to selection. This is going to apply the default transition to both the audio and the video just to kind of smooth everything over. And now I've put together a fairly simple video and it didn't take me that much time. So you can use similar techniques to hopefully speed up your workflow. So now this video is pretty much ready to export and hopefully some of these techniques will save you time and make you a more efficient video editor. So uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I actually respond to every comment and every question. Be sure to uh, like and subscribe. And I will see you in the uh, next video. And in the meantime, keep learning and growing.